Okay, so real quick, I thought I'd show you this set. Yeah, the model is a quantum view. And you can see I just hit the power button. Hopefully you can see it down here on the bottom corner. Uh, it does light up just ever so briefly. And then the backlight goes out. The power light does stay blue down here. I can go ahead and shut the set back off. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on one more time. And I want you to look in this area right here. And you'll notice that it's a little bit dark right in here. Pretty much going straight across. So I thought I'd mention uh, troubleshooting the backlight uh, failure, which is what I believe this is. So I've got my meter here set up, and I'm on the uh, inverter board with these transformers. And I wanted to show you real quickly how to measure them. This, of course, is specific to this exact model. Um, with your uh, ohm meter, I have it in the K ohm position, 1,000 ohms, and it's on the 6 scale, so 6,000 ohms maximum. If I short the leads together, I should see... Uh, pretty close to zero ohms and I do let me turn the light on it will go off in just a moment but these two leads on the transformer uh, are coupled together so you should read zero ohms across those so one side of the transformer to this pin is the secondary and that's what we're interested in actually that one reads 1.06 uh, let's measure this one down here if I can get on here, good. There's a couple little pads here I'll use for measurement purposes. 1.089, let me cycle the light. And then this one, 1 1.471. This one's off the screen, unfortunately. So let me try to zoom out just a little bit here. This one reads 1.47. And so I suspect this transformer is being my problem. So let's go ahead and pull the transformer off the board. Uh, and we'll compare it with another one at the same time. So I'm just going to go ahead and unplug the connector. This connects the power supply 24 volts as well as the dimming control and the backlight on off command. So I'm going to go ahead and just unplug that connector. Uh, I've got the cover off already and, and the screws in the cover actually hold the circuit board in. It's a really easy matter of just unplugging the whole board. It comes right out of the circuit. So let's go ahead and test that transformer out of circuit. Okay, so I've got the transformer. I just put a little uh, mark on it so I'd know which one is the good one and which one's not. Uh, so hopefully this will stay in the video frame. All I'm going to do is add some solder uh, to all of these pins to get them all molten simultaneously. I realize there's going to be a little bit of a bridge, but once I get the end of it lifted up, I'm not really going to care too much about it, because once I get it free, it, it won't actually matter. Do the same thing to the other side here. And the board is just sitting here. I don't have it secured down at all. Okay, so there I've got my transformer completely off of the board. Let's go ahead and do a test. I'm also going to remove a second transformer for comparison purposes. Okay, just real quick, while I have them out of the board, I thought I would just go ahead and do an ohmmeter measurement. 1.108, and it is actually just between these two pins. They must be bridged on the circuit board. 1.1, 1.2, And this one does definitely measure bad, 1.495. So next I've got this transistor tester. I picked it up on eBay. Uh, I think it was about $30, and it's got some leads on it. And so what I'm going to do is just I'm going to connect two of the three leads uh, to the output on this uh, transformer. And I'm going to hit the test button. It's going to do a test on it real quick, and it's going to tell me it's 1,452 ohms, and it measures 942 microhenry, which is the uh, inductance of the winding. And so I want to go ahead, and I'm going to put the other one on the same test, and we're going to do the exact same test on it and see what it comes back at. 1103 ohms and 1.00 henrys is what this one reads. So I do see a difference, and now that's on the output side. So uh, let me see if I can get the leads on the input side of the transformer, and we'll measure it at the same time. 
So once again, this is the good transformer. 0 0.4 ohms and 0.13 micro Henry on the inputs. And we'll do the same exact test on this other transformer. Point four ohms and point zero two micro Henry. So there is quite a difference between the two transformers. Okay, next I've got a uh, Syncor capacitor inductor tester up here. It's going to be kind of hard to see. It's up on a shelf, and unfortunately, I don't have my normal tripod with me tonight. And so I'm going to just do some uh, tests on it real quick to zero out the leads. Uh, these are the leads hanging down here. I hope you can see them in the picture. They're just a couple alligator clips. So I'm going to short those. And next I'm going to take that transformer and I'm going to measure the output side. I'm just going to hook up the two leads and I'm just going to go uh, to coils and I'm going to check inductor value. 1.02 Henry's approximately, and I'm going to do a ringing test on it. It rings 24 rings. So just as comparison, I'm going to go take the other transformer. This is the bad one now. That one was the good one. So just as a comparison, if I can get the leads to stay on it. I'll do the inductor test. Actually, this one comes back as open. I must not have the leads on there very good. Okay, let's try it one more time. Uh, 952 uh, millihenries. And this one rings three rings. And so what the inductor ringer does is it sends a pulse into the transformer and it counts the number of rings the times it oscillates coming back out. And it only rings three rings. So, by process of elimination, I think I can safely say that this transformer is most definitely the problem in this set. So, I just wanted to say real quick, between the uh, capacitor, uh, inductor tester, and this little transistor tester, which incidentally will test uh, transistors, FETs, uh, IGBTs, uh, it will test capacitors, it'll check the ESR, the voltage loss, uh, voltage absorption, uh, actual capacitance value, you can check resistors with it, diodes, uh, some uh, silicon controlled rectifiers and triacs, but not all, depends on the, uh, the gate uh, resistance on those. But uh, it's a couple handy little items to have. Uh, also my buddy up in Oregon, Dave, did the video with the inductor ringer, and uh, you saw how uh, effective the inductor ringer is, and you can pick up an inductor ringer quite cheaply. And that would certainly, uh, between the two different transformers, tell you uh, which one was the good one and which one was the bad one. So now the chances of finding a used transformer is pretty darn slim on one of these sets. So I'm probably going to have to look for a complete used board. This one uses an AUO panel, AU Optronics. So, like I said, the chances of finding a... Uh, an individual transformer, unless I might have a scrap set laying around. I'll go th through those and look and see if I can find one. Okay, so I didn't have another board, so I had to order one. Luckily, I found another board on eBay. And so, we've got the transformer, the one that we tested, that we definitely had a uh, different resistance reading, as well as a different inductance and ringing reading. And then we've got the other transformer, which is in these two slots right here. I took off the board that was the comparison transformer. So what I'm going to do, I could just put this whole new board in and be done with it. But I'm going to actually take the good transformer and put it back on the board as well as taking one of the other transformers and putting it back on our original board just so I can be sure that that's what the actual problem was and that there may not be anything else wrong with the board. I just want to test my, my troubleshooting logic here. Okay, so I went ahead and I pulled just one random transformer off of the replacement board I got. And uh, you can see it over here on the way edge of the screen. We've got the bad one in the middle, and then the original one and the new one that I pulled off the other board. So I'll go ahead and put the two good ones back on these two positions. But let's test them first, at least resistance-wise. Okay, and I'll try and do this without getting too much in the way here. So. 
Just for reference, here is the defective one. If I can keep my probes on there. We see about 1.53K. And now this is the original one that came off the board. 1.084K. And then this is the new replacement, 1.085K. So we're not looking at hardly any difference. In fact, it went down to 1.084. So uh, both of these seem to be matched almost identically. So let's go ahead and put them on the board and see what happens. Okay, so when you go to put these on the board, just keep in mind that there are a couple of little uh, keys, the little pins right here that have to fit in the little holes. And uh, from what I've seen, the uh, different transformers have different configurations of where those pins will be found. So we'll just add a small amount of solder to each pad. Oops, looks like it's gone completely off the picture now. And now for a quick resistance check. We'll start with the original transformer, 1.072, 1.087. That's the uh, replacement off the other board that was defective. And 1.101, so we're all within uh, very close tolerance here. So let's go ahead and put it back in the set and see what we get. Okay, I've got the board in the set. Let's go ahead and turn the power on. Got the power on, if everything's good, we should see some light coming through the screw holes in the back. And we do. And it stays on. Let's go ahead and take a walk to the front. Okay, so here's a uh, view from the front. We'll turn the set back on. I don't presently have any signal connected to it. So all we're going to get is the main uh, logo screen and a, and a no signal condition. But from all outward appearances, everything's working good. So I think we have another successful repair on this one. Remember with your help, we can keep these things out of the landfill, out of the recycle bin. If you enjoy my videos, you can donate to my video efforts on my YouTube channel. You'll see a PayPal link that says donate to my efforts. You can make donations there if you want to support my video efforts. You can follow me on Twitter at NorCal715. Everybody have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.